KCAL 9's Leslie Marin in Canyon Country live with the very latest. Good evening, Leslie. Hey, Chris, you know, we spoke to one of those families that did lose it all during that fire. Alejandra Corrales, her home used to be up this hill here. She had a great view, and now you can see there's nothing there. The home burned down. It is just rubble. She says the holidays are a reminder of what she lost, but also it shows her all the good things happening and how the community has rallied around her. The grieving process on its own is, is a long one, and it changes every day. This Christmas Eve marks two months since Alejandra Corrales watched her home burn to the ground as the tick fire swept through Canyon Country back in October. There wasn't enough time for us, unfortunately. Along with all of her family's belongings, Corrales also had a pet sanctuary on her property. In total, the family lost 18 of their animals. And today, they are still looking for one more furry friend. The family's dog, Casey, who they believe may have made it out of the fire, on her own. And we still have hopes that because she was able to jump the fence, um, that she did so and that somebody's taking care of her. She's part of our family and we really would like to see her back. Since the fire, Corrales says her family has had trouble looking for a new home and at times the holidays are a reminder of everything they've lost. You walk into a store and you don't always find what you want or it reminds you of all the things you don't have anymore and things of that sort. And the holidays are a little, make you a little bit sadder. But in the midst of all the bad, she's seen a lot of good. We've had gifts given to us, um, like I said, Christmas trees, decorations, um, food. The Argentine Association of LA helped raise close to $4,000 for the family. And the local Girl Scouts recently donated Christmas decorations, which helps remind Corrales of why she's still grateful. Grateful that the kids and I all were okay and we're safe. And I get in the well, as for their dog, Casey, that they are still missing, Corrales says, if you believe you have seen her, please call the Pinnacle Vet Center. They will try to get in touch with her family. She says that would be the best Christmas gift for her daughter. 